what makes it really very particular is that the viewer can follow in a very linear sense the lifetime's work of Mondrian beginning very much within a traditional landscape painter and then experimenting continuously trying always to f find something out and then eventually like 1914 arriving at a point where there is an absolute abstraction in terms of color space and this when you see the the much applauded masterworks without understanding how it arrived at is very difficult and therefore this is for a museum an ideal uh, uh, situation to show one way of abstraction in a didactic sense but not a didacticism which we put on it but it is within the work in a very non-orthodox playful way and therefore it's a, it's a wonderful exhibition to be able to do for a museum to be popular but not populist to really make it possible for people who are open to understand one of the great accomplishments of the last century and its poetic uh, presence and freedom and beauty.
The Dutch University, which reconstructed two of Mondrian's studios, his studio in New York, and this is a studio in Paris. And we felt that it was quite helpful for the visitor to get an understanding of the overall total involvement with space and color, because these various color parts were continuously changed by Mondrian and he was in his, continuously in his life always experimenting to find things out, to come to a, an abstraction which does not allow any association outside of the, the invention of the painting itself. So therefore the exhibition in a way is very didactic but not our didactic, it's the continuous a search of an artist who comes to a form of abstraction which is very unique and therefore we felt it was helpful for the visitors to experience the studio.